Welcome back to the Mountain Man Medical YouTube channel. Thanks for hanging out. In today's video, we're going to talk about the best tourniquet to use for dogs. Hang out. We're talking about it next. All right, guys, so this video is inspired by some events that happened a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a Denver police officer in my local area here um, needed to use a tourniquet to take care of his canine. Uh, the dog was uh, chasing a bad guy. Um, the canine handler lifted the dog up into the dumpster to go in and uh, check for the bad guy and wound up getting cut very badly on something in the dumpster as you could expect might happen. So um, the canine handler was able to stop the bleeding in the casualty in our canine trooper and uh, save that dog's life. So I'm gonna roll in some footage of that here in just a moment. The sheriff's office was trying to apprehend a suspect that was wanted for robbery and attempted homicide. In the dumpster, we know you're there. When they realized the suspect was hiding in a dumpster, they thought the safest and most effective way to get him out would be to send in one of their canine dogs, two-year-old Atlas. A deputy fetchner picked up Atlas and was able to lift him up over the edge of the dumpster and into the dumpster. Within minutes, deputies arrested the suspect, but Atlas came out of the dumpster with a gaping wound to his paw. Atlas in the process was injured and ended up with a severe laceration that ended up lacerating an artery up in between uh, the pads on his paw. Fearing for the dog's life and thinking quickly, Atlas's partner took out a roll of gauze he was carrying and used it as a tourniquet, which he wrapped around Atlas's paw to stop the bleeding. It is a great story. Atlas was then rushed to Alameda East Veterinary Hospital, where doctors performed surgery to close his wound and likely saved his life. We can only assume that it becomes a life-threatening injury. Deputy Jeff Myers is a paramedic with the Arapahoe Sheriff's Department. He says as a result of this incident, the department is now giving tourniquets made specifically for dogs to all deputies who partner with canines. So they're already carrying a person tourniquet. Now they're just carrying something that's a little bit more specific to the dog. Deputy Myers says it's the least they can do for their fearless, furry friends who would do anything for them. Now, if you've been around the Mountain Man Medical YouTube channel, you know I'm a big fanboy of the SWAT T. It's just a fantastic multi-use item. You put this into each one of your trauma kit and it extends the usefulness of that kit. Um, because you can use this as a tourniquet, great. That's what uh, this officer used for on his canine. But you can also use it as a pressure dressing, as a chest seal, um, as a sling, a bunch of other things. It really improves the effectiveness of your kit. So having one or two of these um, in every trauma kit is something that I always do, and I feel like you should too. And here is just yet another reason why the SWAT T is such a big deal. It's because it works really well on dogs. So a normal tourniquet like a cat or a soft T won't work. It's the windless style. It won't work because the bones on a dog's limbs are not the same as on a human, right? We have these nice long bones here and in the femur that you can use to tie off a tourniquet and it works really well. But on dogs, they've got kind of an odd anatomy in their legs. So it makes it much more difficult for you to stop bleeding on them. Um, but you still need to, right? Um, these dogs, uh, they work hard for us. We want to take good care of them and uh, make sure that they come back and continue to work hard for us. And the way we're going to control that bleeding on a dog is with something kind of like this. Now, the only other tourniquet that I'm aware of that's specifically designed for dogs is one that's produced by TAC Med Solutions. I haven't had an opportunity to look at that for myself, um, but hopefully someday here in the future, I'll be able to get one and do a review for you guys. Um, but until then, this is an option that will work very well for you if you have a dog. Maybe you go hiking, camping, hunting, that kind of thing, uh, and your dog takes a stick to the chest or the legs or whatever the case is, they're out there into the shenanigans and they wind up getting hurt. This is something that you can use uh, to take good care of them. And not only that, it'll take good care of you too if you need another tourniquet or a pressure dressing or whatever else that you need. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for hanging out and checking out this video on one of the best things that I think you can have in your trauma kit. It's great for people and also for dogs. So make sure you, you check this out. We sell them over on the mountainmanmedical.com website as well as check out our Yellowstone and Wind River trauma kits. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. That's a free way to support me here at the channel. So if you learned something and you enjoyed the video, that's a free way to help me out. Head over to mountainmanmedical.com. Be ready for whatever the mountain throws at you. I'll catch you guys in the next one.